Hello YouTube, this is Brian and I am not a farmer. So why are they not a farmer? Well, my uh, mother still owns the farm that she grew up on. And uh, my grandfather had that farm since probably the 1930s and worked it until the early 80s. He got too sick with Alzheimer's to work it anymore. And uh, since then, it's just kind of been sitting there now. Roughly 93 acres of it is uh, a field been rented out all those years so there is a farmer working the land the other acreage um, I've recently taken an interest in it well I've always been interested in it my best childhood memories come from being at the farm uh, but here recently since I've retired I uh, I've decided that that's where I want to build my end of life house and be for the rest of my life and uh, it's kind of waiting on my wife to finish her career she's got a few years to go but we want to start improving things down there before her uh, for her retirement so we can have a house and things on the farm down there and still live up here in Savannah uh, so the other part of the field the other part of the, of the land is uh, was timber and it had been uh, 30 35 years since it had been cut so four years ago we had a clear cut hired a forester and got the advice of uh, Georgia Forestry Commission and I was just looking to have a controlled burn I just didn't like all the little saplings and things growing up in between I could walk in the woods but uh, so the educated people got me to do a clear cut and that, that put some money in in the bank for mama it's, it's her trees so we've done that and uh, 40 acres of that uh, roughly 60 acres of, of timber have been replanted with longleaf pine and we're looking to in this coming up fall doing the last 20 acres in longleaf pine so I go down there about once a week and the parts of the farm that uh, I want to be able to have trails cut and, and be able to get around with the uh, Kawasaki mule. We have a side-by-side -side Kawasaki mule. I've been making trails and uh, clearing out trees. We had a tornado come through South Georgia uh, probably a month ago six weeks ago now so I've been doing a lot of tree uh, cutting sawing up clearing trying to get all that stuff taken care of uh, this year the farmer has planted peanuts and uh, I do other things down there a friend of mine that uh, we both worked the same career for a long time we've known each other for 27 years uh, we like to go shooting down there and uh, shoot some rifles next time we go so it's really just a beautiful place uh, South Georgia agricultural country um, full of nature there's deer a lot of turkeys uh, it's bordered by two creeks so there are some ducks um, it's just a beautiful place to be it reminds me of my grandfather every time I go and I can't wait for the day that I can live there and get my own tractor and do my own thing. And I don't know that I'll ever be a farmer, unless you call growing trees at a you know a rate of how a tree grows a farmer. But you know, they're just pretty much in the ground and doing what they do. Um, but yeah, so that's what the channel's about: my adventures on the land and running away trespassers and taking care of the uh, trail cams. I've got uh, a number of sailor trail cams down there that I can keep up with on the phone. So I am out here at the farm. 
As you can see, the farmer has got some stuff planted. I think it's peanuts. I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Uh, fixing to unload the mule. Kawasaki Mule SX. Uh, there's stories behind that we'll get into later. But uh need to unload it, get it going. Uh, you can tell I got uh, chainsaw, cutting stuff for the trail, cooler of water, and uh, fuel, that kind of stuff. Um, so I want to get that unloaded. And here in about an hour, I'm going to go pick up my buddy. He may or may not want to be on YouTube. We'll see how that works. Uh, I just love being out here. It is uh, peaceful and quiet and um, full of nature. And it really is relaxing. Uh, when I get my buddy, we're going to come back and shoot a little bit. Uh, I just brought my 30-30 to um, just kind of get some shooting in. Just to just kind of... It's a release for me. Uh, I thought about bringing AR-15s, but uh, that ammunition is kind of hard to get right now, so I want to conserve what I have. Uh, some of you that may do some shooting know what I'm talking about. 30-30 uh, ammunition is pretty easy to get. Uh, so while I'm out here, before I unload the mule, if I described before, this is the 93-acre field and there's parts of it you probably can't see uh, over that hill back there. Uh, across the way over there, that tree line is ours. And there's a creek about 30 feet behind that tree line. Well, we had the land clear cut. You have to leave a 30 feet buffer over the creek, canopy over the creek. So that's where the property line is, about 30 feet past those taller trees. Over this way is the uh, part of the uh, 40 acres that we planted the uh, longleaf pines are on. And you can see there's one of the baby pines there. Uh, the reason it looks like the apocalypse has hit it is because the two times that we burnt, did control burns out here, it just would not burn because it was too wet. Um, I had Georgia Forester come and do it both times. They cut fire breaks. We spent the whole days. Uh, what you can't see from this angle here is that uh, there is a hill. We're at the top of a hill. And back down to that wood line is another creek that's a property, property line. And again, there's a 30-foot canopy that has to be left in place over the creek. So there's a steep hill down there, which means that when it was time to um, do the control burn, they couldn't get in there with a bulldozer and knock all that stuff down for fuel to let it lay down and dry out for fuel for the fire because doing that with a bulldozer on that hill would mess up the erosion. So the forester recommended that we just spray it and uh, let the chemicals kill the undergrowth and burn it. Well, that's an expensive proposition, but we did it. Paid for the helicopter to come out and spray, and he did. And then we tried to burn, and it didn't burn. So uh, we have 40 acres of undergrowth, a uh, little three-year-old uh, oak saplings coming up, and chinaberry trees, and anything else that grows wild. Uh, out there amongst our baby longleaf pines. The longleaf pines were hand planted, obviously, because it's the only way you could get in there. And so I'm hoping that when the uh, pines are big enough, I'm told it'll be about three years, that we can um, do another control bar. There's some uh, tracks there. This place is full of deer and turkey. Uh, I don't hunt either. Uh, I'm not much on killing things. So, uh, and I'm not an anti-hunter. People who hunt, have at it, be safe, eat what you kill, take care of the woods. God bless you. Get this in the rope, they said. Don't get the metal when it will kink up. 
Get the synthetic rope. That'll work better for you, Brian. Yeah. Here we are. Time to convert to go from man killers to snake shot. Just in case. And uh haven't shot any snake shot. I just don't know where those other five rounds are. Let's see if these will fit in there for storage. Oh yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> 